And I was in a lot of trouble at the age of 20. Mm -hmm. Um, I was doing drugs every day. I was dealing drugs. I, I, I was a mess, dude. Yeah. And um, I called my brother. He was in Grand Junction, Colorado. And I said, hey, man, I'm thinking about doing this deal. I could make some money on it. And what do you think? He's like, man, don't do the deal. Just leave the deal alone. It was I was going to get a bunch of weed or something. I forget what the, you know, he's like, don't do the deal, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. I said, man, I got to get my money right. I, da, da, da. You know, the, the, the struggles, dude, of course. being a young kid. And I, I didn't have any direction. I didn't have an older brother telling me what to do. I didn't have a dad telling me what to do. I was lost. I was bored. Most of the time I hated school. Yeah. And I wanted to get, I wanted to start being a success. Yeah. And I had, since 10, I felt like I was a, just a loser. Yeah. 10 years of just losing. And um, my brother said, don't do the deal. So I called the guy up and said, I'm not doing the deal, man. Mm-hmm. My brother was dead the next day. It was like, don't do the deal. And then he was uh, on a gas well. He mm -hmm. was a petroleum engineer. He was on a gas well and the gas well, there was an accident and he was like, just a freak accident. Next thing you know, I'm 23 years old. I'm doing it every day, dude. It's a way of life now. Like I didn't want it. Nobody wants to deal drugs. Like, yeah. you know, Jay-Z did not want to deal drugs. Mm -hmm. 50 Cent didn't want to deal. Anybody that's out there dealing drugs right now, you don't want to. You just need to find a different avenue, bro. Yeah. You need a clothing line. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you need, you picked clothes, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. I picked education later. Yeah. I, I don't know, you know, what I was doing or why I was doing it, but I was like, in the, I was either trying to make money legitimately yeah. or pay for my drug habit. It, look, I wasn't trying to make money at the end. Yeah. I was just trying to pay for my drugs. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. So then eventually it was your mom that came and said like, my mom man. said at 20, uh, 25 years old, she said with 23, I got beat up really bad. For what? Just being out and about with drugs yeah yeah you like know, robbed with, with bad people no with bad people yeah you know uh, uh a little more a little more a little more yeah like beat up like hospital beat up like 70 stitches in my head and face in the hospital for three days like all these scars over over both eyes yeah. under the eyes over the lip you know, 70 stitches in the top of my head my, t my i'll never shave my head because it's tracked up yeah. so you would have thought that was 23 you would have thought i'd have quit then mm -hmm. but I'd be another two years. I didn't quit until my mom said, never come around me again. And she just finally had enough. She said, I, I can't do this. I can't do it anymore. I'm done with you. It was the greatest gift that anybody's ever given me. Yeah. It's, I, literally, I was rebirthed. It was almost more important than the the, the original birthing because I'm like, okay, okay, good. I got it. And then I walked away and, and within probably three days, I was in a treatment center. I hated myself. Mm -hmm. Like like the thing that people don't talk about drugs, they talk about what it does to your mind and how bad it is for you and blah, blah, blah. The degradation, the self uh, deprivation and degradation and, and self-loathing that goes along with being a drug addict mm -hmm. is like so brutal. Yeah. I quit every day. You know, I'm always telling people don't quit. I quit every, don't quit quitting, yeah. even trying to quit. Like I was quitting every day. Every day I would quit probably 10 or 15 times a day. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to do drugs. I do them and then say, I'm not going to do them again. Yeah. And then do them. Yeah. And so I did that for probably 10 years. I quit 10 times a day for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. That's really 10 days. Yeah. 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 And then one day, boom, it finally clicked. And one day I never used drugs again. Look, they're going to tell you like they told me and I believed it for a while. I did, but I didn't is look you're a drug addict you can't help it you're powerless it's in your genetic code and you have no control over it it's, yeah. now i'm gonna tell you right now that i believe that to be complete complete garbage really? and bullshit yeah. so if i was a drug addict and it's completely out of my control then i would have had to use drugs today yeah and i didn't so d d using drugs is a choice yeah i would tell you and i would tell everybody that that has that addictive the nature is congratulate yourself and pat yourself on the back that, that you have the ability to be addicted to something yeah. and take that addiction dude and put it into something unbelievable yeah because every every super successful person that i have studied and or met is has the ability to be obsessed with something to the point of losing sleep yeah. to the point of i don't need to need to eat uh, I'll go in debt, I'll go bankrupt, I'll go down with the ship to make this thing happen. And, and that's really what turned my whole life around was just flipping the addiction, not trying to not be in control, not trying to turn it all over, just saying, hey, I'm going to take this energy and I'm going to dump it into, in, into work. Yeah.